Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a bookshelf tour because I finally have all my books back on it after them being in a bunch of different places for basically the whole like academic year because I've been living in two places. But yes, every book behind me right now is every single book that I own and thinks deserves a spot on this shelf. I have another bookshelf and it's full of like children books. So I got a bunch more books than this and some that I honestly probably should put on the shelf. But I like the shelf as it is and it's pretty crammed. I simply, I can barely fit anything else on like look at this um so i'm just gonna run through everything on my shelf because i really want to get a new one a bigger one because this one yeah my collection's kind of outgrown it i can definitely fit more on but it looks a little bit ugly from what i keep putting on so i'm gonna film this as it is and then maybe in like a month or something something a little while i'll probably get a new shelf and film another bookshelf tour but i'll have to wait and see Okay, here's a quick overview of the shelf. It's pretty crammed at the minute. And I'm not gonna lie, I just spent like all morning sticking up these fairy lights and they there's too many to put on because the shelf's kind of small. And they keep on like coming off because I, I just don't know how to stick them on efficiently. But you can't really see in the daytime, so it's fine. Anyway, my shelf's a little bit too small for me to like properly fit in and show you at the front. So I'm gonna have to do a little view like this. There's also this little bit at the top and it just has a bunch of photos and decorations. One photo did fall off because it's summer and the wind blew it off and I don't know if it flew out my window or it's gone behind the bookshelf. Either way I can't find it and it's a picture of Anya Taylor-Joy going like so really hoping that didn't fly out the window and um, nobody associates it with me. Actually kind of a good association to have but uh yeah I don't know where that picture's gone so ignore that. Anyway, yeah, this is the top. I'll quickly run through my little pictures. It's just, I mean, a bunch of, like, music. So, Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, mainly. Uh, I've got some of my favourite, like, celebrities. So, we've got some Zendaya ones. It's kind of weird that I just have celebrities on my wall, but whatever. This is from Anne with an E. It's actually the newspaper article she wrote. Um, I've got some Harry Potter stuff because I like Harry Potter. Honestly, this picture is so iconic because... I'm a Rami Malek stan and Timothy Chalamet's in it, so it was kind of the perfect picture to put on my wall. Stranger Things as well. Uh, this is also Anne with an e. More Stranger Things. I've got a Hosier thing. More Orders, of course. Um, yeah, just a few more things like this. I love this picture. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. It just reminds me of me, so... And then along the top I had this ghost thing. It does light up in the eyes but the batteries are kind of low at the minute so it doesn't really show up. This is a Harry Potter mug. I think I got this from the Harry Potter studio tour. I don't remember actually. Um, a little art thing because I do art but Loki I don't really use this so. I've got a bunch of Harry Potter little Funko mini things from a little advent calendar I had once. And then a big one. I always keep a big one up here because there's just an empty space because I used to have something here and I don't remember what it was but it's gone now. Um, but I don't want them to stay up here for too long because I'm scared the sun from this window is gonna sun damage them so I keep swapping them out. I've got a love potion, this is from Universal. A little fake pant. Chocolate frog. There's no chocolate frog in there either, I think. And then this is actually my uh, diary, not gonna lie. And then I have a few crystally jam things um, because I used to collect them when I was like eight, so yeah. Oh, and then this is Hermione's wand. I really want to get like a little wand stand to put this on because at the minute the box is just kind of like here and it's blocking everything and I don't really know what to do with this so it's just there. Okay moving down my bookshelf was organized until I got too many books so it's a little bit all over the place but you get the general gist. Here I just have this hardback of Legends and Lattes because it's literally such a pretty cover that it has to be on display and I'm like halfway through reading it but it's kind of summer now and I feel like it's a very wintry book so uh, yeah, it's just there. Behind it I sort of have contemporary books, kind of. If my bookshelf was bigger these would definitely be better organised but I mean there's like romancy kind of contemporary things. This book I'm actually selling it but I can't really sell it because nobody wants to buy it because it's that bad. Um, but that's just a random mystery book that I just can't fit in with the others and... Yeah, that's just kind of what this is, but... And then I have these two... These are actually tarot cards on the wall, um, but I blue tech them. The other side is the tarot, and these got sent to me by by Walker Books when they sent me um, Every Gift of Curse to celebrate the release, and they're very cool. I'll show you some more in depth later down on the shelves. 
And then I'll just quickly run through my Funko Pops as well because honestly this is more of a Funko Pop display than a bookshelf at this point, but yeah. So these are all my 11s from Stranger Things. I'm running out of room for them, but there you go. I think this one's my favourite. I just, I love her outfit in that one. I have two Alice Hoseman books here. These are the only ones I own. I've read the whole of Heartstopper, but I just don't own them because I read them on online so i don't have those i have the six of crows series which i honestly don't really like um so i'm probably never gonna read this not gonna lie controversial i know and then this sort of goes into dystopian a little bit but then it's like this is the same author so i just kept them all together and then yeah it's kind of gone a bit weird but yeah scythe this is it, this section is kind of fantasy I've tried to go a little bit fantasy and dystopian with it, and this is what it's turned out to be. So yeah, these are like circusy magic books, and then these are retellings, I guess. Uh, this is dystopian, and then, you know, not all of these really fit, but I couldn't really fit them on the right places. Um, but yeah, this is mainly, I would say, dystopian, kind of. And then here I have my two Wanda Funko Pops. I've got this Ikea candle, again, the battery's dying, so yeah. And then I have this Tom Holland. This is actually a bookmark I made, but it's, um, I would say, like, a prototype. So it's just on the card and the quality's not the best, but it's fine because I'm not selling it. So yeah, he just sits there and watches over everything. Okay, the next shelf down is very chaotic. It used to be quite neat, actually. But then I got more books, and I don't know if you can tell what my favourite genre is, but it's definitely like mystery thriller, so uh, that's what this section is. So on the side I have this proof of One of Us is Back. Uh, this is what Penguin sent to me, I haven't got around to reading it yet because honestly they only just sent it and I haven't really had time. But yeah, it's very cool, and I'm very excited to read it because I read the other two and they were pretty good, so. And then this is what it looks like behind here. I have two hardbacks here, these are both uh, like a thriller mystery. This one's like Dark Academia, this one is more of a thriller. I have the Truly Devious series, I've only read the first one though. Um, I just bought these two books yesterday, very nice, and, and they have sprayed edges so I was carrying these through town and on a train and I don't know if people would have thought I was weird because uh, obviously there's blood splatters on that but you know. I then have A Google's Guide to Murder, it is a little bit split up from the rest, but that's because I don't want to dig through and just put it back, so. Some smaller little books, uh, I haven't read this yet, but um, there's some obviously halfway through. I got this bookmark as well from Etsy, and I will put it in the description if you like these kind of bookmarks. This one's obviously Hunger Games themed. And then behind here I obviously have the rest of my mystery books. So yeah, my favourite genre to read. And then I have my two Queen's Gambit Funko Pops. There's one more I want to get of Beth. I actually haven't got it yet. I don't know if it's rare or anything. Probably not, but yeah. I love the Queen's Gambit so much, yeah. And then I read the book as well. And they used to be with the book, but yeah, I ran out of room. I have some Stranger Things, Harry Potter, Marvel, Pretty Mercury, and another Stranger Things. Oh, and then I have these two up here. Uh, I also made this bookmark. This is more of the a good quality one. I mean, they are a little bit flimsy, a little bit, but that's just the, the only paper type I could get that was good quality. Uh, this is a Good Girl's Guide to Murder themed. Here is sort of supernaturally stuff. So these are vampires. This is, I think, a witch book. I haven't read it yet, but this seems cool. Witches, uh, and then it sort of goes down to fantasy a little bit. Uh, dystopian here, and then Percy Jackson. Don't ask why, I don't know why it's there. And then at the end, uh, there's more like supernaturally witches and mermaids and stuff. And then this is a hardback, it's just a fantasy book called Among the Beasts and Briars, and it's actually pretty good, very cool. And then these are the tarot cards I was talking about, so um, obviously the housekeeper is a big thing in the most recent book, so I've got that on the front, but they just kind of come with everything relating to the books, I think. Oh, I just dropped that. Yeah, very nice. And I just have those set in the corner there, because they're cute. Okay, moving on to the bottom shelf, this one is definitely the most jam-packed in. This is mostly my middle grade children's books kind of shelf. Apart from these two, these two are ARCs, um, proof copies that I have the main copy of for both of these, so I don't really know what to do with these anymore. Okay, I'm going to start off down here. So, I'm not sure if you can really see, I'll have to move things out of the way, but this is my, I would say my favourite author of probably all time. 
all her books here well apart from a few because i don't have the rest of the series and then this is all one series and then this is a standalone and then here i have the place called perfect series which i love i don't know why they changed the covers like halfway through though so that's kind of annoying and i still need to read this one though and then i have some books by lucy strange which i, I really love her writing and then this book which i started reading but i didn't really like so because i'm not really a fan of war books so that's kind of my fault and then here I'm going to move a few things so you can see behind, but I sort of just put it in colour order, kind of, and yeah. So I have a Stranger Things Funko Pop and a Harry Potter one. These are Harry Potter ones down here and here. And then these ones, obviously, Stranger Things, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Okay, I'll show you these ones first before I move them. So I've got Anne of Green Gables, which I'm annotating, so it's taken me a while to read on and off. But I absolutely love Anne with an E and Anne of Green Gables, so I have... Two and three of Percy Jackson, they're split up because they were in a different place this whole year and I can't fit them up there anymore, so they're just down here. There's some Neil Gaiman books. And then these three I'm actually selling, so they're just here, out of the way. Um, but this is like a YA, the uh, like, mermaid -y book, whatever. I don't know what this book is, but yeah, these are both middle grades. Okay, and behind all of that, I have a bunch of different books. So I've read a few, I haven't read some... I have a few proofs that I still need to get to. Um, I have the Wonder series, which I love, and the movie's great as well. I still need to read Murder Most Unladylike, honestly. This is a proof. And then I do have, uh, these are also books I'm selling, so they're also just here. Um, but yeah, I have They Both Die at the end. I didn't really like it, so I'm selling it. These are just books I got ages ago that are just not really my thing anymore. This book, Goodnight Mr. Tom, is one of my favourite books of all time. Well, maybe not favourite books, but I love the movie, so I got the book and... Yeah, obviously they're pretty similar, but the movies, I'm not gonna lie, the movie's better. But that's just because this is a children's book, so. Um, this is a really good children's book. People love this book. I love this one as well. This is very popular also. I mean, Matilda. I have a lot of Roald Dahl books. They're just not on this bookshelf. And then I have the whole Harry Potter series. They're all kind of mismatched because these are some of the original ones that's just been passed down to me. Same with this one. And then I didn't have the last two, so I had to buy them. And then... I have Cursed Child and Fantastic Beast thing, but I don't know what that's about. And then here I have a Chocolate Frog card, which is good or a Lockhart, so uh, kind of ugly, but he changes. And then I actually have a reading light, which, and you can take it off and attach it to your book, which is very handy if you're like on holiday or something and you're in another room with someone else and they don't want the light on, so very good. I have bookmarks literally everywhere, but I try to sometimes collect bookmarks when I go to places. So this one's from a castle in Wales, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the dragon probably means Wales. I can't remember, but yeah, I went there. And I love these types of bookmarks because they don't really break and they're like super soft, so. I also have this Kindle, which I sometimes keep on the bookshelf, so thought I might as well include it, but there's no battery on it at the minute, so <laughs> there it is. And then, this isn't really part of the bookshelf, but down the side I just have all my Funko Pop boxes. Um, I try and mainly buy these secondhand, so, because I cannot afford full price. Yeah, some of the boxes are a bit wrecked, but some of them are also brand new ones. Or normally I just don't have, get boxes for all of them, because they're cheaper if you don't do that. And I don't really care about the boxes, but they are just there in case I want to sell them, which I probably won't, but... I thought I would include that, because a little behind the scenes moment. And also my fairy lights, which, yeah, I literally don't. So yeah, that is my entire bookshelf, and that is what it's looking like right now. Hopefully I will get a new one and be able to actually organise these and make it look a lot nicer like it used to look quite nice, and now it's just a little bit jam pack, but it's still fine, still cute, because I got my Funko Pops, and they make it great. So I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to see more book videos in the future, as well as like other hobbies that I have, like crochet um movies and film and tv and just casual music videos as well but yeah that's the end of this video before my fairy lights fall off again because i can hear them ripping and yeah bye